There we go. And... Oh shit, you got up fast. Hello gamers, my name is games for kicks and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 13. I already have played a couple of minutes, it's already a half 12 in the afternoon. Um, just wanted to get some of the grind out of the way because it's not very interesting to watch. And um, wanted to get that started, you know, getting a couple of things collected, get myself prepared, bows, arrows, all that jazz. And avoiding zombies. I killed a few already, um, only two or three, so nothing that you're gonna miss or not gonna see anyway. Um, so far, so good. Um, I like the game. Uh, some things I just have to get used to because they're different and they come with over time, you know, as you get used to them and experience them. Oh, nice coal, actually. That's very good. I'm going to take this whole coal block, actually, because coal is not that easily found as far as I know. So I'm going to try to take all of it if I can. Oh, I can hear some footsteps. Oh, they're a bit far away, so that's okay. They're far away. Now, um, what am I going to do in this series? Well, we're going to try to play normal survival. It's all on default settings except uh, times of day. I still have it I set it up so that um, they start running at 10 in the evening, I think, and stop at 4 in the morning, something like that. So, come on, let's get the big payoff. There we go. There's the 20 I was looking for. Okay, so... Oh, I have a friend over here. We only have four arrows, so... Actually, let's queue up some arrows. There we go. Thank you. And we only get one arrow now per craft as well, so we have to find a lot of resources for that. I think I just wasted all my wood, did I? Wood, stone. Actually, I have to get more stone. These big rocks here are actually very difficult to um, get stone from. Yeah. So we have to try to find some smaller ones. How many arrows do we have now? Twelve. Okay. Come on. Let's take you. Th let's take good care of you. Where are you? Oh, she's moaning because she's cold. There we go. And... Oh shit, you got up fast! Holy crap, you little balls! You could have warned me that you're, getting, that you're getting up. Oh yeah, I'm still used to aiming as we used to aim in... Um, Alpha 12. Come on. She looks like, what is the planet of the apes? Holy shit, there's something wrong with your woman. Okay, nothing on her. Yeah, you do those yoga exercises. Actually, I don't want that. Thank you very much. Um, we need to get some clothes, so I'm gonna have to mow, mow the lawn for a minute and do some plant fiber clothes. Um, also, let me do a big shout out straight away to Andy Mods. Uh, Andy was very good and already made me the custom recipe for the G4K helmet. If you're interested in it, I can link it in the description. Um, I will link uh, link it in the description, the changes uh, to the Dropbox. Um, if Andy is okay with it, let me check with him first. And um, what this basically is, I'm trying to find it. I'm, it's very frustrating. Um, you make a cloth head armor and then use that cloth head armor to make a G4K helmet. And that uses your torch and uses your cloth uh, armor that you made, but it gives you light. Now, it doesn't give you armor, anything extra. It doesn't give you any more than the cloth armor, maybe even less, but it gives you light, which is very handy for you guys because um, for Let's Plays, the darkness is always the biggest problem. And not getting light in the beginning is just such a pain in the ass. So, um, one thing that I wish, hope they're going to add is show all. If I have my favorites on, I still have to go through the options to see what I favorited. I would like to have a completely independent favorite list. As in, if I click favorites, I don't want categories. I don't. I just want to go and see everything I favorited. Because it's not useful for me at all to favorite anything if I have to still... Oh, come on. Would you just shoot in the face? If I still have to look for it like a maniac. And fighting zombies, I don't want to spend my time in a UI. I want to spend my time fighting zombies. Okay, no, don't hit grass. Come on. There we go. Oh, he's dead. Okay. He's just twerking around. Very good. Actually, I don't really... Uh, okay, I will throw that out if I need to. So, I'm trying to get a lot of um, 
cloth in the moment that I can. Um, oh, there's a little stone. Come on, let's make another stone axe. It's 27 seconds here, so yeah, we can use our hands until then. That's fine. And um, we're gonna have to make some armor as well for her now because she keeps moaning that she's cold. And we have to go into our inventory to see if we food and water, which again I would like to have these option the option at least in a available to turn them on here. Otherwise I hope a mod can do that. I don't know if mods can actually change the UI yet. Um I also would like to see the time of day so I don't constantly have to open menus that cover the whole screen to look at the time, or a menu that covers the whole screen to see if I'm thirsty or hungry. So um yeah. In a survival game way prioritization is very important. It shows very little information here for me to go by what I need. So let's craft. Uh, no, we actually have that. So let's craft. Um, what do we need? I forgot. Oh, yeah, close. So let's go to close, unfavorite, and look at plant fiber pants. I want to keep the cloth. So I'm going to make some plant fiber pants. I'm going to make a plant fiber shirt. And then I'm out of plant fiber. So let's log, mow, mow the lawn a little more. Okay, so we got enough grass. If I press B now and I shift click, does it put it on? Did it put it on? Yes. Okay. So hopefully she's warm enough now. It says here it adds plus 14 degrees of heat. And that should hopefully be enough. Now, there's things like... Yeah, what happened during the stream last time, actually, was quite interesting. She had a coat on. And I think the coat was too warm for her. So she kept complaining how hot she was in the desert, yeah? And when we took the coat off, she was okay. But then at night, of course, she gets cold and you put the coat back on. Um, I hope the game is not going to turn into a heat management system. Or clothes management system. Because if we want to play fashion model, I play one of the Barbie games. And if that becomes literally just me having to take constantly my clothes on and off, I'm going to try to mod that out if that becomes an issue. So, um, but I hope it's not. I hope it was only because I had a coat on. And coats are not like basic armor. And that basic armor hopefully does not have such a huge impact. So, it's going to be nightfall soon. It's going to be... It's already half three. So, we have about... At four o'clock, you kind of want to start looking for somewhere to stay. And um, we have enough coal for the moment, so that will last for fires. We want to make sure we have enough stones. We have only 15. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find a POI. I'm going to get more stone, and I'm definitely going to get more wood. Because I, I was reading the forums, and somebody said he had to use 3,000 wood just to have one of the basic prefabs up, fabs upgraded to wood. So it takes a hell of a lot of wood to do that. Okay, so we have gotten more stone, but we haven't seen a POI yet. So what I might have to do is, I made a shovel, is dig in the side of a mountain. So we have uh, plenty of wood, a lot of stone, some iron fragments I got, uh, some are cotton. I'm actually going to make a sleeping bag now so I can put something down if I really get screwed over. And I'm also going to make a secure storage. Actually, favorite these things straight away um, as I use them and craft that. And that way I can... Um, put them down somewhere, you know, to uh, make an intermediate uh, stronghold or whatever. Yeah, okay, I have to stop doing that now. Um, because it's getting dark, I think 10 o'clock is when uh, they start running, because I have set it to my last settings. Again, everything is default, except that on death I lose everything. Again, I don't know if that's default or not, I just, that's what I set it to. And this is such a weird generated path. Okay, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to dig into this mountain if I can, because um, this is getting quite um, late now. And if there is no POI coming up soon in this meadow here, then we have a problem. So let me see. Okay, there's a water source possibly here, but that's too far back. And we can see already it's uh, 6 o'clock now, so I have four hours before it hits, before they run. Now... I think it's four hours because I set it again to um, maximum day cycle or whatever and 18 hours of daylight. So again, I turn my light on so you guys can see. And I think this would be a good place to start digging a hole then, I suppose. Oh, holy crap. This is going to take some time. 
This is not as easy as I thought it was or would be. Let's actually craft some secure wooden door and let's craft some frames. About 10, I would say. Yeah. And then we continue digging here. Okay, so this didn't work out as planned completely because there was straight away rock. And this rock here is uh, quite tough. So I wanted to dig this out, but um, you can see here it's uh, quite tough. So what I'm going to do is I should be okay here. I mean, I should be pretty safe. What I want to do is just probably cover that up. I don't know if I can try to get this here on the corner. Excellent, yes. So if we can do that, we should be okay because nobody should be hearing anything if we if we travel down. Now, um, I leveled up. My character is now level two. I got five skill points. Um, where's my skill points? You can't really see the skill points. Um, you probably can see them here. Um, no, I don't. Uh, there are five points available. Now, the way I understand how this works is you level up automatically. And you see the way it gets more expensive. Level two here, this is level five, five points. In the stream, I, I used one of those. I leveled up twice or something and then used uh, seven points to upgrade the construction tools. Now, I thought that you need to spend the points to get the benefit of five points, but you don't. What it really allows you to do the skill points is like saying, oh, I actually, I didn't do much armor smithing, so I'm just gonna purchase this now with my skill points that I earned from leveling. So I can now fill in the blanks quickly where I don't want to waste time to grind. It's a nice touch, I think, you know, it allows you to fill in the blanks, which means basically I'm not going to spend these points until I think I need them. End of story. So um, we already uh, leveled up in mining tools as well because of the shoveling. Misc crafting came from wood frames and um, athletics is just from punching things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend the night here. I'm going to use the last wood frame probably on top of me. I'm not quite sure. Funny enough, my frames are absolutely shit in the moment at 22. But as soon as I step outside, let me see. No, they actually still shit at 22. Must be the sunlight or something. I have no idea. They're completely locked in at 22 frames. It must be the night time. I bet you when it gets morning, it's going to be fine again. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, I see you guys in the morning uh, at first light. And um, we go from there. Okay, guys. So I've done a little bit more um, work. But it didn't work out as I planned, because basically when we tried to dig into the mountain, the problem was that there's actually... Let me turn the light on for you. Oh, why is the light not coming on? Let me see. Hang on a second. Where's my body thing? I have the G4K helmet on. Let me see. There we go. Okay. There seems to be maybe a glitch. I don't know. So there was stone. And this stone is very hard to break. It will take me a long time. So what I did instead is I kind of built out with a couple of wood frames so that um, I leave them unupgraded because I assume the zombies still can't look through them. Oh, here it starts. And it's exactly 10 o'clock. So I will spend the night here. I will try to dig myself a little bit more in. Actually, we can take these guys and turn them into scrap because I don't think... Uh, core forging can also be used to craft blunderbuss ammo. Oh, interesting. Let me see the blunderbuss actually. Well, my, might as well while we're here. So the blunderbuss is a forged iron, which we can't do yet. And uh, forged iron is something we get from... I don't know where. Let me see. So blunderbuss ammo is made... Okay, fair enough. You still need to find all that stuff like uh, gunpowder or whatnot. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm not going to waste your time with that. I'm going to stay the night here. I'm going to try to stay as quiet as possible. Now, we are getting hungry. Um, I already drank my drink when I was mining. I'm going to eat this now, which is going to mess up my hydration. We have a grain alcohol we found, which um, drinking might not be a bad idea because it gives you actually... can be made in a... Oh, grain alcohol can be made... Oh, in a beaker at campfires. Useful for a homemade gas recipe and first aid kits. I like the description now. I'm actually really... I like that. But if we use that, the effect is 100%. Um, yeah, I suppose it gains stamina over time still. But anyway, so I'm going to be working through the night here. And i see you guys in the morning. 
Okay guys, so it's nearly morning and um, yeah, it's just another couple of minutes. I'm just finishing off my... I leveled up again. I don't know how leveling up works really. I think there's a multiplayer on experience as far as I know from the files, XML files. There's a multiplayer that is applied to everything you do. There we go. Here's the morning. Just finish that and get the payoff. How much payoff are we gonna get? We have 94 stones. So how much payoff are we gonna get for a thousand stone block? 95. Come on. 15. Seriously? That wasn't really a lot. A bit disappointing. Anyway, I also tried to downgrade this to see if I get any wood debris back. That would actually be interesting to see. If I get something back by downgrading it. So I'm just gonna go through this in motion here for a second. Just as a science test. Because we used to get wood debris when we downgrade something. And yeah, it used to be quite fast actually downgrading stuff. But you know... <sighs> Ah, oh, would you stop complaining? See, this is what you get when you hire a porn star to do the voiceover. I mean, it's like there's too much dramatics in the in the voice. It's it's not like um, what you call it. Um, I also level up the toolsmithing because crafting non-stop stone axes uh, levels up toolsmithing, which is great. So you can see that here, toolsmithing, I'm now level 2, because uh, gain skill by crafting and repairing yeah. items, so it's brilliant. Oh yeah, and somebody was saying like, oh, you should always repair and not craft, because that raises your toolsmithing and waste less resources. Yeah, but it also means I never actually upgrade my quality, because my stone axe that I had at level 3 when we started the night, I, up I repaired about 8 times and was still quality 3. And then I crafted one new stone axe and it was quality 6, so I was like, yeah. So I'm going to stick to crafting rather than repairing and I just have to deal with the resources. Did I get anything from that? No. Cool. Then I don't care. So let's uh, scrap that into scrap iron. Upgraded my door. Let's take this with us. Excellent. Look at that. Now, what are we going to do? Um, this is a new day and um, in this new day, we're going to be concerned about actually finding a POI because we still have a day 7... Um, Horde, which is gonna come. Oh, she is a feisty one. We still have a day seven horde, which we're gonna have to deal with. And we obviously want to have some perimeter where we defend ourselves. I knew she was going to get up. There we are. That's it. Is that it? Yeah. There we go. Nice. Look at that. Vitamins. Vitamins improve your wellness and can cure early stages of dysentery. That is nice, so we're gonna keep that because now drinking water will give you dysentery. Or oh, has a 10% chance of giving you dysentery. Um, apparently when you boil water and you get a jar of water, it still can give you 10% dysentery. That doesn't make sense to me really, to be honest. If you find a jar of water, absolutely I agree that it should have a 50% chance of giving you dysentery because who knows what was in it but if you freshly boil water I really think they should add boiled water as a thing rather than just a jar of water because a jar of water you find in the world absolutely agree should have a high chance of giving you dysentery but again boiled water should absolutely not that's the whole reason why you boil it so Okay, let's get uh, some more wood. Now, I'm going to explore a little bit more southwest down the road. Um, oh, I did get hit from her. See, I didn't even notice that I got hit because I'm infected. Why am I infected? What is that? What is that infection? I'm infected. Duration, three game days. Time left, 2.9. You're infected. Use an antibiotic, honey, or herbal antibiotic to heal the infection. Okay, can I do that? use. Is that gonna cure my infection? No, I'm still infected. A jar of honey. Okay, fair enough. Still infected. Let's get the payoff of that, which is like, what, six wood or something? Ah, two wood. Not really the best. Anyway, so let's see where we walk. Let's continue down here. I actually don't want to continue down here because this is a new biome, I think. 
And this gets very deserty down there. So I would like to stay on the road and actually go further here and snoop around there and see what's going on in that corner. Ooh, nice. We came across some meat. I shot it only once. It went over the hill and uh, it died. I got a sneak attack times two damage, which was nice. Now, I don't have a knife or a bone shift or something, so I'm just going to use my uh, stone axe, which hopefully gives us some meat. It should still give us some meat, just not as frequent. Yeah, there we go. I'm carrying something that smells. I know. So what do I need to make a grill? Okay, I have to actually hurry up here because that will kind of disappear, that thing. See if we get a second meat from it. Come on. And in the end, get the big payoff of 15 heights. I don't know. I'm, I'm just making it up. I have no idea. Let me see. Ah, balls. Too late. Yeah, we don't need that. Don't care. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's the meat covered. And why are my frames all of a sudden so bad? Not sure. Something's loading in the game. Maybe in the background. Anyway, so, um, yeah, we, we got some meat. We got about two meat, but we can't really cook it yet because um, we don't have water. And I think to actually make it not use water, they remove the stick. So you need the cooking truck grill. And for that, you need short iron pipes. And to make pipes... To make a short iron pipe, you need forged iron, which is lovely. And to make forged iron... Is that a thing? Can you make forged iron here? No, it's made in the furnace. Great. Oh, she's complaining that she's hungry. I'm well, I have raw meat. That's all I really can give you. Um, is there anything else I have that I could give you? Oh, whoa, whoa. Shouty make shouty. It's okay, relax. Ah, yeah, we're not gonna get in there. So we're gonna go up here. We're gonna see if we can find some food and let's take these guys out. And then, uh, hopefully... Oh, yeah, shoot him in the balls. Nice. I'm not gonna go near this asshole, because he's just gonna get up then without an animation, and it's gonna hurt me. There we go. Shoot you right in the head. Oh, missed. Of course I missed, because I was aiming at your head. And right in the balls. All zombies have balls. Simple as that. Oh, she's dead. <laughs> Yeah, could have shot at that. Oh, lovely. Look at that find. We're gonna eat tonight. We're gonna eat all right. We're gonna eat some honey. Stamina? Oh, fullness. Five. I don't want fullness. Actually, I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna eat that first. And now I have to go into my inventory to see... Oh, look. I am I didn't know that. Because I was walking around thinking everything is fine. Oh, lovely. I'm gonna wear that. I'm gonna look badass now. Who's looking badass? Oh, look at... Ah, oh, she looks awesome. Absolutely awesome. Alright, I think I'm gonna leave this episode here. Oh, there's a tree stump. One of those magic tree stumps. And, oh, can I loot that car? Yes! Let's see what's in it. No food in it. Okay. There's more cars here, and there's another car down there. But this goes into snowy mountains, and I don't want to go into snowy mountains. Zombies in the snowy mountains are pain in the ass, and they're tough as shit, and I don't think that will have changed. Let's see what we have here. Oh, a skull cup. That's great. Scrap that. Get some cloth fragments. Very nice. Okay, we're gonna have to find a body of water so we can fill up the tin ca the tins with water, and then hopefully boil it. Over, I don't know how we're gonna boil it now because how are we gonna if we don't have sticks anymore? How are we gonna use a fireplace effectively? Hmm. Oh, look at that! Oh, we're gonna keep that for the episode too. As you can see here in the background, look at that as a popping gas or popping pills or passing gas. I don't know, who knows? Anyway, I leave this here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the arse, like a gaming ninja. And I hope I see you guys in the next episode. Until then, as always, feel spaß and happy gaming.